Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's start! The first level of Superstar Road, the Spine Tingling Spine Coaster! I'm guessing it's gonna be another one of those Skull Coaster dealios of sorts. Yep, there it is! So it's kind of interesting that it's outdoors. Because it, it looks out of place being, you know, outdoors like this, considering that it's basically a thing of the dead. <laughs> And what is... why are those coins down there? Oh, I was gonna say, that they're in a... Great. <laughs> they're in a really awkward place of how to get them, because I would think you need, like, Yoshi or something like that to get them. Alright, looking for star coins. Those are the most important coins that we need. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, need that. <laughs> There's one. Whee! Oh, please don't follow me. <laughs> Give me, yeah! It's, and even the music feels kind of awkward based on, uh, I don't know, this, I don't need to keep the star to the end, do I? I hope I don't need to, because I remember that one stage. But, oh, no, 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 give me coins, give me, oh, thank god. <laughs> I just don't know where they're gonna end up at, that's what I'm worried about. Uh. I don't think I finished what I was going to say, but I already forgot what I was going to say because I'm thinking of the stage too much. <laughs> this is the cool stage, by the way. Oh god, fuzzy attack. Oh, and it's not the fuzzy spore kind, you know, the one that makes you get high. Those are the better kind. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god! <laughs> Where's the last coin? How do I get? Coiny, there we go. Now I just gotta survive to the end, I, I think, and hope there's not a secret exit. Oh god! Oh god! All these surprise attacks! <laughs> oh jeez, that was actually set up really well, so I don't have to worry about taking a hit there. Oh god, please don't make me- Oh man! <laughs> oh. That was fun! <laughs> That was a pretty easy stage, despite it being, you know, endgame material here. This is the ninth world and whatnot. And, oh, that leads to the Mushroom House. Is there anything special about these Mushroom Houses, or are they just... Mushroom Houses? Uh, looks just like Mushroom Houses. <laughs> Wait, what? Was that a propeller mushroom and penguin suit? So they do exist! <laughs> I think I know which ones they are... This one, and this one. No, I was one off again. Well, I got a propeller mushroom. If you don't recall, in the uh, original New Super Mario Brothers game, you shake the controller to make yourself uh, go upwards. They're very similar to the uh, acorns. So I guess that's where you get them in this game. I didn't think they would exist, but they do indeed exist. Run for it! Oh, maybe I should have showed you what the um, propeller mushroom was like, because you might not have seen my other walkthrough. Oh, I see what the, I see what they're doing here. It's a P-Switch run of death! Go, 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 go! Oh, fireballs, fireballs! Very handy. Oh, no way! <laughs> I was going to say, that switch might be tricky to hit on the run like that. Uh, boop. Just want to make sure I hit... Seriously? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I hit the switch. Oh, and I have to wait for the switch to run out there. Oh, God! No! Why are you doing this to me? I'm going to just skip all these Koopas if... Oh, what happened there? It's like I gained traction and lost all momentum. <laughs> That was weird. Uh, propeller Mushroom would not help me in there, so I'm not going to use it in this stage. I'm just going to do another run through this here. In fact, I wonder if having a Mushroom would even... I mean, having an extra hit here would even help. You guys go right in your pipes before I get to you, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because otherwise, if I didn't have my Fireballs, you know, I'd be pretty screwed there. <laughs> so I figured that they were, they were, they were well-timed or something like that, excuse me. You just gotta keep keep this rhythm going. There we go. And hopefully I won't hit the switch. Oh, you automatically hit the switch. You cannot avoid it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna carefully bounce on the Koopa. There we go. I don't know where this other coin is. Oh my god, really? Oh! 
No! Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time, am I? Oh, not even close. <laughs> oh god, you got moving moving coins as well. But that Koopa down there, that was Hmm. Uh, maybe I could benefit from having a propeller mushroom or at least an acorn. Having um a power acorn, you know, the P acorns, that would just like completely obliterate this level. Because you could pretty much just fly through the whole thing. And I think that would pretty much defeat the challenge of it. So I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I want to do it the real way. The fun way. And I wonder if I should be hitting some of these blocks. Maybe these blocks might contain something. You just never know. The first coin there is pretty easy to get. But I can tell this stage is going to be really short. Based on how quickly I can run through everything, and how quickly you have to run through everything. No! I didn't mean to hit that other Koopa. That totally threw me off my timing. <laughs> I will successfully beat the stage, I assure you. This reminds me of a stage in uh, Yoshi's Island, where you had to run with um, very similar switches. Like, you hit a switch and it's timed, just like these blocks here. Only it doesn't turn uh, coins to blocks, it turns dotted blocks, you know, dot, dot, dotted line blocks to just solid blocks. And you'd have to run to the end of the stage and try and survive along the way by reacting to the threats there. Whew. Aww. <laughs> I was hoping I'd be able to break more blocks than that because I had a really good run there. Oh, those Koopas are so awkward. <laughs> Alright, gotta get this... Coin. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, wait, 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 I can do it. No, I can't do it! <laughs> okay, I, I, I just gotta wait a little longer for that Koopa to come back up on that second coin there. I mean, way too impatient. Oh, and I, you notice I absolutely must have my mushroom for that first star coin. I don't know if there's gonna be another uh, incident like that for the third star coin. I guess we will cross that bridge when we get there. Mm, and by bridge, I mean solidified coins. <laughs> Otherwise, this level... Oh, jeez. It's pretty easy so far. I mean, granted, I died a few times, but I mean, it's it's really easy to learn. <laughs> Ooh, oh. oh, no, no. I shouldn't have done that, because that made me waste some time. Uh. <laughs> Okay, wait for the Koopa this time, PK Gam. You have plenty of time. Good! I knew you could do it. And now, there. Now, there's just gotta improvise this. Oh my god! Um, um, oh! <laughs> I got a wall kick to hit that switch. I was waiting for something to appear, but based on the structure of that, I've gotta, yeah, wall kick that. The stage does have a lot of pressure to it. But I will nail it, even though I can't seem to nail that block. <laughs> Alright, run number... something. I don't know, I wasn't really counting. Just gotta stay calm, relax, just let the piranha plants bite the air, let them have a good time however they want to have a good time. And the way I broke those blocks there might actually be the best way to do it, because... Uh, you know, when you break the blocks to get inside that coin, you want a little running room to give yourself more speed, if anything. At least I think. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this level. Wait for the Koopa. Good! And now... Boop. Now, for this, I am kind of puzzled as to what I'm supposed to do here, unless I'm supposed to, like... <gasps> Uh-oh. Do it with rhythm! Oh, jeez, I was so close! <laughs> this is a pretty exciting stage. Maybe even more exciting than that coaster one. <laughs> very, very action-based. Even though it's pretty much just dodging stuff. Although you do have to have some uh, fairly precise jumps. But I think the way I did that last part was the correct way, and that I'm not supposed to, um, oh shoot, why'd I do that? And that I'm not supposed to wait for any of the, uh, 
blocks to move back twice. I think. Uh, oh, I just cannot use that P-switch to get more speed out of it. He probably designed it that way. <laughs> that P-switch there is pretty easy to get to despite that Koopa Brigade. Oh yeah! Alright. I'm going to try and... Time... Is it possible to run through... Oh my god! <laughs> it is possible, I suppose, and all those jumps are... No way! How could I fail that jump of all jumps? <laughs> it was a one block jump! It was just standing there, it's not hard! <laughs> Alright, let's do it! This, this is the run right here. I have a feeling this is the run. Because I know all the challenges now. Boop. I just gotta concentrate. Stay focused to the end. And keep myself alive. <laughs> and there we go. I'm gonna try to get as much speed out of this one as I can. Now, I guess it doesn't really matter because every time I hit a switch, it resets the counter anyway, so. Eh. Boop. I'd like to Im improve that jump right. No! And I could work on that jump as well, I suppose. Alright, final part of the run. Here we go. Oh yeah! That's how it's done, baby! Woo! Oh, one thing I noticed is that, um... They do not give you a super guide a super guide block in these stages, no matter how many times you die. I mean, you see me die a bunch of times there. Alright, since these stages are fairly short... Oh... I was gonna say, since these stages are fairly short, I should try another one. You know what, I will. Swim for your life! I don't know what the heck's gonna go down here, but... I guess we're about to see! <laughs> but, I'm, but swimming levels might be a lot oh it's you wait a second you can't I can't dodge you can I oh so that's the gimmick it's we got our chompy brother he, chompy butter chompy buddy here and oh he's actually faster than you too <gasps> how am I supposed to oh wow that actually might be an issue. I don't quite understand that because he's so much faster than you. Hmm. We have ourselves a puzzle slash action stage. Oh shoot. How many that that mushroom was pretty risky to get. As is that one. Maybe that's the point. You're you're not actually supposed to get those mushrooms. Uh, oh god. I need that star coin, by the way. But how do I get past that Urchin Brigade, past that star coin? Am I supposed to like, or I should say, am I able to lead Mr. Burp and Slurp there into the other ones to kill off the Urchins? Or will there, there be like a star or something? You know what, there's no point in getting a Mushroom actually, because he can one-hit kill you. <laughs> He's kind of like Boss Bass. All right, so what am I supposed to do here? Oh, maybe... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh god, oh god, oh god! You are kind of manageable, actually. Okay, hit these. I thought you were actually going to be harder to dodge, but you're actually pretty predictable. All right, so what I actually got to do is... No! How did I dodge that? How did that... What? Okay, hit those. There we go. I can li I can live with that. All right, so he isn't actually as big of a problem as I thought. If I take my time, so this stage actually might be a lot easier than I thought it would be. And that also means mushrooms are, are a benefit. <laughs> and he also doesn't suck you in it in his mouth. Oh shoot, that current was way too strong, way stronger than I expected it to be. 
Oh geez, please. No. Coin. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Gimme. Yay. What about those fish? The fish wall. I don't like it. Guess I can get through it here. There we go. I don't like that you're faster than me. <laughs> well, maybe you're not faster than me. Get stuck on the pipe. Oh, you don't get stuck on anything. <laughs> oh my god, no, not you guys. Why? <laughs> All those kinds of fish with the spiky heads, they home in on you. Hmm. But okay, this, this stage is a lot more manageable, manageable than I thought it was at first glance. I, I thought it would it was because you know the title of it is swim for your life so I thought it was a thing of that you had to stay ahead of our super fast chompy friend here but he's actually like a non-issue as you can see right there he's like a clunky phantom <laughs> that can potentially one hit kill you um, you know that that coin right there it would be a lot easier to get if I get him to kill off the urchins ahead of time. Oh, shoot. I did a poor job anticipating the current again. Duh. Well, luckily the stage has ample amounts of power-ups, it seems like. Alright, yeah, this is definitely going to be the last stage I'm trying in this part. These, these stages are actually kind of difficult. <laughs> Despite what I uh, initially thought, I mean, they're they're short stages, sure, but they'll take a few lives to do, that's for sure. So I, I'm not actually sure how well I'll perform on any particular stage. Oh, that's not good. Although, he might kill off fish on his way back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> well, it's not that, that's for sure. I just, I gotta make sure he carves a hole in the fish there so I can safely pass through them dang swimming school formation <laughs> so I not only have to dodge him I have to use him to my advantage I think they even hint that he's able to kill off the urchins right at the beginning of there when he kills off a few urchins <laughs> I'm gonna Rather than thread the needle, I'm actually gonna wait until I have the best opportunity to move forward this time. Alright, I'm going to move up here. Let him kill the urchins. Same with those, preferably. There we go. See, not too hard. It's just gotta play smart. Gotta be cool. And I should also have him kill more urchins along the way, shouldn't I? Because you aren't that big of a deal. You're my big purple buddy that is also trying to eat me. It's it's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Just gotta, no way, that's, that's gonna be bad at his angle there. Gotta lead him away. And then go for the box. Oop. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be an unlimited spawn of fish. That'd be kind of an issue. Yeah! Can I kill you? Oh, I can! Wait, actually, that's not beneficial, is it? No, wait, it is! Because... I can... Oh, you just come right back. Because I was going to say, I can pretty much break the level like that. In fact... <laughs> as soon as he comes back on the screen, I'm just going to break the level with him. You know what? S sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> And now the level is complete. Oh wait, actually maybe not, because I still got this brigade of fish. Oh, now I can't break the level anymore. <laughs> I forgot these fish existed. Oh my god, no. Wait, seriously? How do I... Okay, actually this is going to work out. <laughs> down here. Down here. That's good. Um, you're gonna trap me in that corner if I go down there. Come on, right here. Do your thing. Yeah. I wouldn't mind taking a hit, but it's just the thing of that he, I think one hit kills you. Oh, no. 
Okay, I'll take that. And I think I'm safe. I think I am safe. Unless Boss Bass decides to come out of nowhere or something. <laughs> Woo! And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next part.